Welcome back to our channel. So in today's video, I'm going to give you a list of 10 common plants that are dangerous to your horse. These could be growing wild around your yard or something that you've put into your garden. But here's a list of the top 10 most common plants that are actually toxic to your horses. So the first one is ragwort. Ragwort is probably known for its bright yellow flowers. It usually grows in areas of lower quality grass. Um, horses will usually avoid it, but when it is dead or withered, it is more palatable and they're more likely to eat it, or it could be mixed in with their hay. It will take them a good amount to actually be fatal, but you do not want your horses eating ragwort, so if you see it in your field, make sure to get it out immediately. So the second one is foxglove. Foxglove is very deadly to horses. It is harmful to quite a lot of animals, but if horses, especially if it's mixed in with their hay, if even 100 grams could be fatal. The symptoms include convulsions, breathing difficulties, and death after only a few hours. So if you see foxglove in your field, make sure to get it out immediately. Or if you see that your horse has eaten foxglove, call your vet straight away because foxglove is extremely lethal to horses. Okay, the third one is acorns. So acorns are actually relished by horses. So if they see some acorns lying around the field, they will most likely eat them but if they're eaten in large quantities, they can lead to severe colic. So you don't want your horses eating those. Um, they're dropped in autumn by an oak tree. So if your horse's field has an oak tree in it, make sure to pick up all the acorns in autumn or transfer your horses to a different field. But definitely you don't want your horses to eat too many acorns. So number four is yew. So the yew tree is known for its bright red berries and darker green leaves. Uh, even if the berries and leaves have fallen onto the floor, um, they're still just as deadly as if the horse ate it from the actual plant. And just 0 0.5 of a kg can be fatal to horses, with the horse falling into an unconscious, sleep-like state and eventually dying. So make sure that you don't have any yew trees near your horse's enclosure, and if you've seen that your horse has been eating them, call the vet straight away. So number five on the list is privet or box privet. So this is often seen as a type of hedge. Uh, it's in many common gardens. So if you keep your horse at your house, make sure your neighbor doesn't have any that can drift into your horse's field. Or if um, there's any at your yard, make sure it's fenced off because even a very small amount of the, of the hedge can kill your horse. So. Make sure that you or your neighbor doesn't have any just that can drift into the horse's field. Number six, rhododendrons. So you may have seen this colorful flower or it may be in your own garden, but try and keep it away from horses cause it also looks quite tempting to them. But it can be lethal by failure of the respiratory system. So definitely keep these away from your horses. It's fine to have it in your garden, but make sure that it's not near your horse's field. So the seventh one we have is sycamore seeds, or as a lot of people call them, helicopters. So if your horse eats a lot of these, then it can result in muscle stiffness, excessive sweating, weakness and fatigue. And it may not be lethal, but it will be very uncomfortable for your horse. And in some cases it is fatal. So if you notice any of these symptoms or you have seen your horse eating some sycamore seeds, call your vet as fast as you can because it can be lethal and you wanna get your horse out of pain as soon as possible. All right, number eight is lupins. So Megan's horse, Arrow, actually ate a couple of lupins last year. Um, he was absolutely fine because it only had a few mouthfuls, but if your horse eats a lot of lupins, then it can cause respiratory problems. Um, if your horse only has a few, it won't be lethal. But if he's eaten a lot of them, then do call your vet so she can check them out. Um, the seeds of the lupins are actually the most toxic part. So if your horse has eaten a lot of these and you've noticed it, then make sure to call your vet. Number nine, hemlock or poison hemlock. So this is often found growing on the side of the road or as a weed in your garden. 
Horses will normally avoid this, but same with ragwort, if it is dead or withered, it is more palatable and they're more likely to eat it. And if you notice them eating it, I would recommend calling your vet as in extreme cases, it can be fatal. Number 10, it's not really exactly a plant, but cut grass. So if you've just been over with your lawnmower mowing your lawn, don't throw out the clippings into your horse's field because it can cause severe discomfort and severe colic. Um, if your horse has a couple of bites, I wouldn't worry too much, but more than that can lead to colic and try not to give your horse any of this as it can be very uncomfortable for them. Okay guys, that's the end of my list. Um, I just wanted to say I am not, obviously I'm not a vet or an equine expert or anything like that. All of the information I got, I researched online. Um, so if your horse has eaten any of these plants or is having symptoms or something like that, call your vet straight away. Do not rely on me or this video because the vets are the real experts and I am not. Um, but I do hope that this video helped give you some knowledge on what plants not to feed your horses. Um, and if you would like more information on colic or poisoning or anything like that, um, head over to our one of our other videos, Top 10 Most Common Horse Diseases. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe and comment down below. No ideas or videos or vlogs. And we'll see you next week.